Hello, 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 it's Dolly. I am back with Everyday Inspiration with Christy, Crystal, Daisy, Jennifer, and Lisa, and of course myself. And this inspiration piece was brought by Lisa with Pink Glitter Scrapper from her backyard. Don't you love the pool? Isn't that great? And that's where I'm drawing my inspiration from. And I chose a photograph from 2015 when I took my daughter-in-law to Oregon from where I'm from. And behind us is a picture of Mount Hood. And this is the back side of that paper, which is the Amy Tangerine Hustle and Heart. I'm gonna do a starburst layout and my idea and I want to use up some of my enamel dots so I'm going to create a starburst going like this so I'm just going to create this starting point probably let's see we'll do about two inches bit of room down here for some journaling and I'm just going to create them all the same kind of length right at the moment Let's see how that's going to look let's get started with the layers so I think I'm going to use this blue Now, I think I might do some mixed media there. So let me pull out some colors. All right, I'm back and I have my lines down um, as I showed you. And then I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of mixed media as well on this layout. So I went ahead and primed it with some clear um, gesso and now I'm going to use some of the Dino Wakely um, heavy body acrylic paint and then I'm going to use the magenta and laps Just kissing it down to the magenta. Now, I'm starting to cover up my lines a little bit. That's okay because I can get my ruler back out. All right, so here we go. Alright, I have a hot mess going on here. That's okay. You can kind of see where my lines are. So I am happy with that. I'm going to let this dry. Now, my idea was to put hearts, um, stars and hearts on here and I just discovered I may not have enough. So we are going to just go with it and see what happens. I can barely see my lines and because of the gesso um, okay I'm back I've got my stars all glued they're freshly glued and then what I mounted my photograph on I had some more of that piece left and I thought this would draw your eye this direction so I am going to place that I will I will I will place that at the corner so we've got that in the corner then for my title I needed something to come up here to cover in that space and so I thought 
So I need to use this. This is an old, old, old um, Heidi Swamp. And then this is Amy Tan, the chipboard sheet that I'm slowly picking away at from Amy Tan. And I don't know what collection it's from, but anyway, I thought we this would be perfect. And then I'll do some journaling and maybe put a group of stars down in here. So let me get my title down. You gotta be really careful. These are really thin. See, that one already broke. Or no, it wasn't together. Maybe I can do it like this. And then have my journaling. And then let's see if we put some stars over in here. It's a little pink. Maybe. I can do that, but then maybe I should go this direction. And that's clashing. So we can do this. And this. more over this way. All right, I'm going to call this layout complete. I hope that you've enjoyed the process. Please hop along. I have the other ladies' links below. That would be Christy, Crystal, Daisy, Jennifer, and Lisa. And Remember to subscribe, share, and hit the like button so that you'll receive notifications when our posts go up around September 15th. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.